Exciting news is rumbling through the world of Formula One. Remember when Andretti got the cold shoulder for joining F1 in 2026? Well, hold on to your helmets because the track has a twist. Now, it seems they might zoom onto the F1 scene even sooner, maybe as early as 2028. How's that possible? Thanks to a little help from their friends at the FIA. So, let's dive into this video today to know all about Andretti's potential fast track into Formula One. Formula One said no to Andretti Global's plan to join the racing scene in 2025 or 2026. But here's the twist, they're thinking about giving the green light for the American team to hit the tracks in 2028. This exciting proposal, backed by General Motors, got a thumbs up from the FIA, the big boss of Formula One last year. But Formula One management, the folks who handle all the commercial stuff, had the final say. And they put the brakes on Andretti's plans for the next few years. They were concerned about Andretti's entry, worrying it might not add much excitement to the championship. But hold on to your steering wheels. They're open to changing their minds for the 2028 season, especially when General Motors gears up to build their very first F1 engine. American drivers soon getting a chance? Recently, the US team opened a new factory at Silverstone to prepare for joining Formula One. Andretti Racing also plans to join Formula 2 and 3 to help more American drivers get opportunities. For many years there wasn't an American driver in Formula 1, but since last season there has been one. Even though there are now three Grands Prix in the United States on the calendar since 2023, there aren't many talented American drivers. Andretti wants to change that. They want to give young talent a chance with their new program. The factory at Silverstone, which they opened, will be their main base. Our goal is to have an F3 slash F2 team to help support the F1 team and then maybe even a WEC team. So we want to make this our hub for European racing. So a lot of a lot of cool plans in this area, Michael Andretti told Autosport.com. It's not just American drivers, it'll be a good ladder for American drivers. The team owner continued, we're going to still be looking for the best talent in the world, but it's going to give an American driver a fair chance because normally, when an American comes over here, they're not treated the same. Here in our team, you're going to be treated fairly all the way up through the system and plus for us, we'll then be able to really tell the talent how real it is or not. The reasons behind F1 rejecting Andretti F1 had to choose whether Andretti's plan to join in 2025 or 2026 was good enough. One problem with their proposal was that they would have to use an engine from another company, probably Alpine, until General Motors could make its own. Not only that, but F1 also said that it would be tough for a new team to work with a new engine supplier. They believed that starting with General Motors' engine would make Andretti more trustworthy and credible from the beginning. F1 also pointed out that Andretti would have a tough time because they'd have to make cars for two different sets of rules in 2025 and 2026. Also, relying on someone else's engine before GM is ready could cause problems when working with another partner. They said, because of this, we don't think Andretti would be able to compete well. Even though F1 acknowledged the famous Andretti name, they said their research showed that being in F1 would benefit Andretti more than the other way around. They couldn't see any big financial benefits for Andretti from joining F1. They said, on the basis of the application as it stands, we do not believe that the applicant has shown that it would add value to the championship. We conclude that the applicant's application to participate in the championship should not be successful. Why have F1 teams been against Andretti? Andretti's attempt to join F1 faced many challenges from the existing 10 teams. These teams didn't get to make the final decision, but they were worried that adding another team could mess up their prize money. They also doubted whether Andretti joining F1 would help the sport grow in the United States since there's already an American team, Haas. Toto Wolff, who leads Mercedes' team, even said that there might not be enough space on F1 tracks for another team. But in October, FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem didn't agree with these arguments. He said that the opposition was really just about money. Even though Andretti didn't get into F1, they kept moving forward with their plans for their new team. According to The Athletic, Andretti's F1 team has grown a lot recently. They now have over 120 people working across three Indianapolis, Silverstone and Charlotte locations. 
they've attracted talented individuals from top teams like Red Bull, Mercedes and Ferrari. Last year they started testing a car model in a wind tunnel, and they plan to have a full-size prototype chassis ready by 2024. Michael Andretti, the CEO and chairman of Andretti Global, said to The Athletic, I can't imagine anyone wanting to stop us. It would be a shame for racing fans to miss out on seeing a true American team competing against the famous names in F1. He also explained that a works team builds its own engine, like Mercedes and Ferrari. Is the door ajar for 2028? F1 believes that any new team joining the championship would need to make a big impact. They think this would be more likely once General Motors, GM, makes its own engine for the 2028 season. They said, we would see things differently if a team applied to join the 2028 championship with a GM engine, either as a GM team or a team using GM's engine and designing their own parts. They would have to think about how much value this new team would add to the championship, especially by bringing a prestigious new engine maker like GM to the sport. In November, GM confirmed that they're getting ready to make an F1 engine in 2028, which is two years after the next set of rules will start. Having another car maker join the pool of engine suppliers including Ferrari, Mercedes, Honda, Audi and Ford would be a big win for F1. This shows how far the sport has come since it struggled to attract manufacturers in the past. General Motors GM has made it clear that it will only consider entering F1 with Andretti, despite some suggestions in the racing community that it would be better for GM to partner with an existing team. However, if Andretti were to enter F1 with an engine built by GM for the 2028 season, it would be seen as a much stronger plan for expanding the grid compared to their initial idea of using a temporary customer engine until 2028. Waiting until 2028 also means Andretti wouldn't join the grid until a new Concorde agreement is in place. This agreement sets the commercial terms between F1, the FIA, and the teams. It's expected that joining after the new agreement is in place would increase the fee needed to join the grid. If Andretti had been accepted for the 2025 season, they would have had to pay a $200 million fee. This fee would have been divided among the 10 existing teams to compensate for the reduced prize money share. Now, teams are pushing for this fee to at least triple for the 2026 season. They believe that the value of F1 has gone up significantly since the last Concord Agreement was made. The negotiations for the upcoming Concord Agreement will likely affect how Andretti can bid to join the grid in 2028 with a GM engine. Andretti won't go back. We have emphasized that our work is moving forward swiftly and this new facility symbolizes that progress. While our goal is to establish an American works team, having a base in Europe allows us to attract top talent from the world of F1 and utilize cutting-edge equipment, Andretti stated in a press release. Andretti remains optimistic about their future in F1. We are taking the next steps in our journey to enter the FIA Formula One World Championship trademark with the launch of our new facility at Silverstone Park, UK. Today, alongside our existing Andretti Cadillac UK team of around 80 people, we are proud to unveil this new British hub for our extended Andretti family. The new building spans 48,000 square metres, providing room for expansion as needed. It houses production facilities, model and machine shops, research and development labs, as well as additional office and meeting spaces. FIA helps Andretti. The FIA expressed a desire to have an 11th team on the grid, but Formula One management, FOM, rejected Andretti's application. However, they mentioned that the opportunity for the American racing team to join in 2028 remains open, especially when Andretti has their own F1 power unit. Racer magazine now understands that the FIA, Formula One's governing body, is actively collaborating with Andretti to facilitate their entry into the sport in 2028. The FIA has been assisting Andretti in assessing their financial and technical capabilities to ensure they meet the requirements for participation in Formula One. So what do you think of FIA backing Andretti? Could the US team enter F1 soon? Comment below and subscribe for more.